Well here goes, it's part two and I'm trying to find pots uh, to fit these um, particular orchids. This is the Kingianum and uh, what I'm trying to, trying to do is um, get them into smaller pots. I'm going to use this one, it's only a small one. I'm going to put some Just at the bottom. See, that's the back. Can you see? That's the back end of the plant. And then what I want to do is try and gently, without breaking any of these roots. can be a bit tricky. See, there's, there's the new, can you see what I mean, where the new ones are, just bear with We've got the tumble dry just clicking in, so, uh, so there's some large orchiata bark. I've got the back of the plant there, can you see, there. And then, so I want to hold that back here. To enable um, that root to come down. Can you see that root to come down? So I've got some Orchia to bar. Let me just, let me just see what it, where it's. Now, they should be pliable, these roots, because I've had them in uh, hydrogen peroxide. There we go. So this is just the back of the plant. But I want that firm first. Let me see. And then I can come to the front like Roger does. And let me see all those roots. And then I can start to gently tuck the orchiata bark down. Now I could use some of Kathy's bark, but I'm going to use Orchiata bark because these will go into a winter rest and uh, come next spring I won't have to repart simple because the Orchiata bark will last longer. Right. Take one or two of these husks off. And then pull it back. And what I might have to do is uh, just stake it. Can you see the roots there? That's an old root. That's the back of the plant there. And that's the... Uh, this one here. This. That's the new cane. So, just need to put a little bit more Okay, I'll have to go. I'm just in there. Okay. Right. Now that one. 
one's done. Okay. Brilliant. At least that one's done. Right, now this nice one here, which has got some quite nice roots, no label like we've said, and uh, I'm going to put it in this one. I don't want it in a deep pot. So you've got some nice roots. So that's the back. I wonder if Roger would have said take that on. Because it's a little bit low down. Will it come off? Let me have a look. So again, I'm going to put some. large bark just in the bottom. Let's just see if I can get those roots down. Let's have a look. Can you see what I'm doing? I think that'd be fine, you know. There. Can you see there's plenty of room in there. Oops, I don't want to try and... Right, okay, off the bark again. Now, I'm going to start at the front. Roger says you should start at the back. I want these at the front first. There's the back, you see. And there are some live roots through there. So I can put some in here now. See the roots there, all the way around. Where would I put a stake? If I put a stake in, I'm going to put it there. Can you see? Well, there's a bit of a stake here, so let's just. And then I would hold that just there. Let's see if this little. I'll go around there. There we go. And then what I'm going to, what I'll do afterwards, I did that with all the plants yesterday. Is I go into the other rooms, usually something on the television, and uh, I sit and wipe all the leaves. There we go. Can you see that one? And that's a that's an OID. So that's two we've done so far. Uh, I've got these two to do now. So this is the uh, Shiva Tolkien. Shut, let me just shut the door again. The dryer's clicked in. Looking at this one, can you see it? Blue. That's for some reason it's been sliced there. So, I'm just wondering now, whether to put it in a pot this way, or whether that pot might be too big. Hmm. bark at the bottom. Let's do that one that way. And do that one 
I wonder why they would chop it that way. Um, what I'm looking for now is just a clip. So I've got a new growth there. I've got a new growth there. What I need is a clip and I'll take come around these two. Let me see what I'm trying to do. So then I've got that new growth there and I've got this new growth here. And the roots are down. See all the roots down there. Right. I think this is she lost. It's a sheer up talking. Because I put the label. If not, I put the label on the wrong one. There we go. So, let's have a look at the roots. Roots there. A root there. That one's going to be fine. And I'll put the label in there because I'm absolutely certain that's the shield I'm talking. And this one, this is the one where we've got these two newly emerging growths and I've cut this back bit off. So let's have a look what we're going to do with this one. Okay. I'm filling up with big crocs, and you see? And these certainly will not be watered, not for a few days, because the, the roots are wet through. And you see those roots now. Actually, you'd think, well, they don't look too bad, those roots. So, I mean they cracked and everything else like that, with a, but with a bit of luck they might, um, they might blanch for me. And what I've got to do, excuse the noise, I want to put a clip here, clip this one back there. Okay. There's the back. Can you see the back with all the roots? Now I'm going to be able to push any down there. And see? Actually, that feels quite um, that feels quite firm. If I can just get it to uh, get that suit bulb there, to uh, I might just need a stick. You see what I mean? Can you see? I think it's a little stake in there. Right. So that one's just about got enough room 
to grow. See how desiccated these are? I can't get it to um, go any other way. I think that's going to be fine. So I've done those four now, so while I'm on a roll, let me just go and get one of the cymbidiums. Right, let me lift you up a little bit. Which way do I lift you up? Okay, a cymbidium. Right, potted. No name, 1st of the 11th, 2017. So let's take these clips off. Because what I can do um, is I'll check these roots and then the others, the other cymbidiums, I'm going to get them done today. So this is completely root bound, which is good. Can you see the roots down there? Let's bring you down again. Can you see the roots down there now? So let's see if I can get him out by just pummeling this plastic. Hold on. It's definitely brute force. Something's coming loose in here. I don't like to pull my finger in because I don't know what's working out. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Let's see what we're going to shake out. So we don't have any unwanted visitors in this part. Bit of the media seems just uh, breaking down a bit. There. Oh, look at that! What's that? Is that a? Uh, Newly emerging spike. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to uh, take a few minutes just to bang some of this media out. And then I'm going to uh, come back. There are one or two old roots, um, but there's a lot, a lot of new roots. So what I'm not wanting to do is damage any of these new growing roots. So. Uh, Just uh, go carefully, and then see that was no good. That one. See these, uh, these, sh Let me these she's, uh, these bulbs, these old bulbs there. 
what I'm trying to do is just uh, take some of the old blacks from around them. Just tidy them up. It's just for aesthetic appearance, that's all. See in there. It's actually not a bad root system at all. Some of the media's gone, that's in the middle, so that's got to come out. But, uh, some lacquer pellets down there. You see all inside there? Some lovely, lovely growing roots. There are. So let's, I'll be back in a second. Right. So, there are snails and slugs. So what I'm going to do in a minute, while I decide to see which pot size I'm going to use, I will um, spray it with hydrogen peroxide. See, we've got, like I showed you, we've got that new... And it could be a flower emerging. I wouldn't have thought it's a new growth because that's a new growth this year. Can you see that one? That's a new growth this year. That could possibly be a new growth. That's definitely a new growth. Okay. The trouble is when you get into inside a symbidium like this, you just want to uh, tidy it up as best you can. all that rubbish there. Right, just let me spray this uh, root system now. That'll get rid of all the uh, unwanted uh, guests. See me doing this to apologise, but I've got a pot there which is a square one as opposed to the round one it was in. At least this will be one of the Symbidians done. What I'm looking for is that, oh, that goes there, so that's fine. bottom of that pot I'm just going to place one of these little kitchen towels. Can you 
easy. Just because there's lots of holes down there. Let me just see. Well, for a start, I'm just going to bob some uh, large bars to the bottom. And what I'm trying to do now, can you see? I'm trying to just manoeuvre these roots in without breaking them. If I can, very gently. So I've got this much bigger pot here and what I'm going to try and do is, you see that one there to that one there, you see. So I'm going to take this and place it in here and then it, I'll have to keep picking it up and you see how much better that's going to be. Don't know either. No, I can't do you any other way, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep coming back to you after I've done a little bit of potting. Now they do say the cymbidiums like to be tight in the pot. And I totally agree with that. But then, they, they've still got to have room to grow. Well, I feel as though they have. So I've got about a good inch or an inch and a half around that pot and it made the plant lower now which is better because these newly emerging um, pseudobulbs they can put the roots down. I'll come back when I've just potted this up. Right it's now ten past two Keith wonders what's happened to me and what's happened to his lunch. And uh, so I've uh, done the repotting um, in so much as that uh, I've just got three more cymbidiums to do and I'm not going to do them on camera because um, you've seen me do this one. Excuse me, what I'll do now with this one is I'll... Um, take it outside. I'm going to give it some systemic spray because um, I've done the hydrogen peroxide on the roots but I need to uh, get the systemic spray on the uh, top. And there we are. And there we are. So I'm in the garden and these are the ones in that little tray yesterday and they're all enjoying this nice warm weather. Likewise with the phalaenopsis and the uh, mounted orchids. And this is the Dendrobium delicatum that uh, I've had to bring from the the uh, front of the house because it's it's too hot today. So thank you for joining me again and. Uh, Next time, um, I don't know what kind of video it'll be, but it won't be a repotting. Bye-bye now, from me to you. Take care.